Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your kids, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. And even more when you get to the junction. And come to the junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Joe, come and be his guest at the junction. Here's our lady MD, she's as pretty as can be at the junction. Very good junction. Mr. Drucker, do you have any potables to quench the thirst of a weary traveler? Huh? That's a poetic way of asking for soda pop. Orange, it's very poetic. Yeah, and Orange got away with words, all right. Uh, go help yourself. The coldest is Green River. Thanks. Orange. <laughs> this is quite a rig you have here. Orange got it to do a better job of patrolling his territory. He's a very conscientious game warden. Oh, no kidding. I, I, I bet they think a lot of you, Orrin. Well, not, not really. They certainly do. Why, he's on the trail of some poachers right now. Oh, yeah, I got a story about that for the Guardian. Newt Kiley lost another tame duck this week. Well, it won't be long now. Orrin's closing in on them. Aren't you, Orrin? Well, not, not exactly. <laughs> Orrin. Oh, that's okay, Bobby Joe. I know how these officials don't like to talk about a case till they got it all wrapped up. Right, Orrin? Yeah, I'd, I'd uh, rather not talk about it. Well, just promise me one thing. As soon as you nab them, let me know so as I can stop the presses. <laughs> oh, and uh, the drinks are on the Guardian. Sort of a little bribe. Thanks. Bobby Joe, why did you tell him that? Tell him what? You are on the trail of those poachers. Some trail? I've been chasing them for a week. I don't even know what they look like yet. Well, you'll get them. Uh, I, I better. In this game... You don't get results in the field, you're back to a desk job. That'd be terrible. Yeah, it sure would. Once you've had the taste of action. No pencil's gonna take the place of old Betsy. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, are you girls gold bricking? Looky here. Six of them that can only turn out five eggs. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. We've got to crack down on them. Now look here, girls. Until you do better, you ain't getting the run of the yard. And I'm cutting off your piped in photograph music. And the rooster is denied his visiting privileges. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, cancel that last penalty. The others are all in force. Now, I don't know which one of you six is fluffing off, but whoever it is. Hey, wait a minute. One, two. Where's Martha? 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 Not now. I'm busy. Help me find Martha. All right. What is it? Chicken polka dots? <laughs> Sam, normally you don't deal in chickens. Uh, no, normally I don't, because most people around here raise their own chickens. Or at least they try to. <laughs> Except Mrs. Quigley, and I ordered one special for her because she's having out-of-town guests. Sure she is. <laughs> Joe, you're talking in circles, as if that's anything new. <laughs> your 
gun out for? Oh, that. I was doing some target practice this morning before opening up. I see. Could the target have had two little beady eyes and go clock, clock, clock? Joe, oh, are you insinuating that I? My own best friend. Joe, would you tell me what you're talking about? Okay, I'll level with you. One of our hands is missing and everything points to her being shot. Well, that could very well be. I'm glad you confessed. It'll save the sheriff getting it out of you. <laughs> I'm not confessing anything. But there's been some poaching going on. And, and, and as a matter of fact, Newt Kiley lost another tame duck. Yeah? And, and I understand from Orr and the game warden, there's been quite a bit of this going on in the valley. There has? Then let's get some action. <laughs> Joe, we're getting some action. Sheriff. In with the sheriff's station. Joe Oren is out right now trying to track him down. Oren? He couldn't track down a bear in a phone booth. <laughs> sheriff, Joe Carson. Why are we stopping here? Well, I'm going to check in with headquarters. You ever see one of these? A walkie-talkie. <laughs> no. Can I see it? Uh, well, uh, you, it's kind of a delicate mechanism. you got to know just how to operate one of these babies. <laughs> oh, I see. How does it work? Well, see, first you press this button here. That's called opening the channel. Then you, then you talk right in here. That's called uh, communicating. Oh, isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's the chief. <laughs> I, uh... I was just uh, explaining some things to a civilian, sir. You know how you always trust public relations, and I couldn't agree with you more. That's why I always try to... Oh, not at all. What about those poachers? I was just calling in uh, to make my report. Yeah? What is it? No sign of them, sir. <laughs> certainly doesn't seem very understanding, does it? Well, he has an acid condition. Where are you going? It ain't Sheriff John. No, 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 no. I'm not a sheriff. See, uh, fish and game. Fish and game? No kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, what do you do with that thing? Make popcorn? It's a trail bike. Oh, is that your old lady? Who are you calling that old lady? Take it easy, Robin Joe. <laughs> kind of watch it, huh, fellas? Yeah, man, I'm going to take a good look. <laughs> that mama's got possibilities, Ringo. Well... Mat her hair down and put her in a sweatshirt, it might not be too bad. So I'm going to have to ask you fellows to be moving on. You mean we have to go? That's right. You don't seem to know how to talk in front of a respectable girl, and I'm not going to... Wait a minute. What's that? What well, is what, man? It's a duck feather. I'm going to have to have an explanation for this. Oh, really? That's right, and be careful the way you answer. This is a law talk. Gino, this is what Marshal Dillon. <laughs> now, hold it now, Buck. He's entitled to an explanation. We're just saving up to stuff a pillar. <laughs> oh, well, I don't buy that. And it's not Marshal, either. It's Warden, see? <laughs> well, there's... There's been some poaching going on around here. I'm going to have to So they got away, huh? They didn't get away. They ran for their lives. Mm, how's that? Orrin had them scared to death. You don't believe me. Oh, sure we do. Bobby Joe. I don't want to appear nosy, but wasn't the idea to capture them? Sort of. Well, honey, there were two of them and only one of Orrin. Well, even so, as game warden, he represents the law. He does carry a gun, right? Isn't it his job to catch them? 
Boy, you are nosy, aren't you? <laughs> Why didn't he use his gun, Bobby Joe? Oh. It was a technical thing. Technical? It could have happened to anybody. What? He forgot to put in bullets. <laughs> She sure picked a winner. You know, he'd have made a great social director on the Titanic. Gee, Warren's a nice guy, and I like him. Well, I like him, too, but let's face it, honey, he's a klutz. What? A klutz. Everything he touches falls apart. It's like going steady with an eight ball. Uh-oh, Kathy Jo, is the stroller ready yet? All set. Like brand new, ready to go. Huh? How about that? How about that? practically out of everything. What do you mean? And what are you doing here? Do you have the afternoon off? The afternoon. And tomorrow morning. And the next day. And the next week. <laughs> oh, couldn't be that bad. And the next month. <laughs> oh, and you just sit down and tell me what happened. Well, you know most of it. Let no poultry get away was bad enough. Then when I got back to the office, they told me about the complaints they were getting. Oh, dear. The final blow was when somebody called and said that I couldn't track down a bear in a phone booth. That's not fair at all, is it, George? No, it certainly isn't. Then you've been relieved of your job. Temporarily. Probably permanently. And who can blame them? I'm probably the world's greatest loser. Nothing goes right. Every time I touch something, bluey. Oh, well, that isn't true. What, they let you keep your badge? They must think something of you. Oh, well, that, that, that's not the reason. Last time I sent my shirt to the laundry, I, I forgot to take it off and the pin rusted shut. <laughs> oh, Bobby Joe, could I speak to you alone for just a minute? Sure. Um, Excuse us. Bobby Joe, you've got to help that boy. How? Give him a boost. Build up his ego. Make him feel important. Sure. But how? Oh, come on now. You don't know how? What does he like to do? Well, he's always wanting to read poetry to me. Splendid. Then let him. And make him think you adore it. Yeah. But you don't know the poems he picks up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just love everything he reads. <laughs> the Charge of the Light Brigade by Tennyson. <laughs> half a league, half a league. Half a league up. Are you sure you really want to hear this? Oh, yes. Yeah, because a lot because of people just get up and leave. Because you such a beautiful voice. I, I do? <laughs> half a league, half a league. Half a league, I'm with all in the valley of death. Road to 600. All the world wondered. Honor the charge they made. Honor the white brigade. Noble 600. <laughs> You want me to stop? Oh, no. More. More. <laughs> if. By Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, what's more, you'll be a man, my son. <laughs> The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, shall be lifted nevermore. Well, 
That's it. The same? You really like it? Mm. Bobby Joe, I, I can never tell you what you've done for me. You've restored all my confidence. I'm glad. Well, we better be going back in. Oren? Could you help me? Something's the matter. Oh, no, it's just that I can't move. <laughs> oh, it's all my fault. Boy, I'm a jinx. It's not your fault. It's an old family failing. Oh, you, you mean it's hereditary? Handed down from generation to generation. We're the stiff-jointed Bradleys. <laughs> Boy, then, it, then it's not my fault. You know, I, I was beginning to think that I wasn't going to be any good for anybody. Oh, but you are, Orin. You're real good. <laughs> I just bet this time it's my fault. <laughs> Uncle Joe, when I was hanging up close in the backyard, I noticed the drain pipe on the far corner is about to fall down. Oh, well, thanks for telling me, Betty Joe. Oh, and speaking of repairs, you know that broken window on the back porch ought to be replaced. I'll put it on my list. But, Uncle Joe, these jobs should be done before we have a rainstorm. There's no hurry. I checked Doc Benjamin's almanac. We're in for a dry spell for a couple of weeks. Well, that must be Bobby Joe and Orange. <laughs> what in the world? What happened to you two? I did it again. Oh, Ryan, you did not. You just had a little accident. What was that? It's those poachers. Here's my chance. Oh, Lauren, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Look. The needle's pointing to E. It means you're having yeast. It means the gas tank is almost empty, and it was just when I had a chance to redeem myself. Oh, there's a can of gas out by the pumpkin bag. Golly, going after those poachers by himself, he doesn't have a chance. And he doesn't even have a gun. Is Steve around? Oh, no, he's way over in King County on a job. Well, how about Uncle Joe? Well, I'm not going to let him go after those fellas by himself. Where is he? You have one guess. <laughs> Uncle Joe! Joe, I need your help. I'll put it on my list. Oh, no. Joe, this doesn't involve work. Well, why didn't you say so? What do you want me to do? It's poor Oren. He's in trouble. You can say that again. Just being Oren, he's in a bad way. <laughs> Here, Oren. Uncle Joe's going with you. Boy, where? Are you sure he wants to go? It's a jungle out there. Boy, where? Of course he does. You can't face them alone. Going where? What was that? That's where you're going, to capture the poachers. Right. Look, if you're gonna go, let's go. Yeah, there's nothing I like better, son. But I gotta fix that drain pipe and the broken window. Joe? Well, it's gotta be done. The big rains are gonna start any minute. What about Doc Benjamin's almanac and the dry spell? Oh, that yay who hasn't been right in 30 years. <laughs> oh, and I'm not letting you go by yourself. I won't let you. Uncle Joe, if you're not going with him, I am. Okay, but be careful out there. filled her up back at the Shady Rest, and we've only gone half a mile. Shady Rest? Where'd you get gas there? In that uh, red can out by the pump. That ain't gas. 
It's water I used to prime the pump with. <laughs> I don't see how you even got this far. Probably just enough gas in the line or the carburetor. I flubbed again. I'm no use at all. Now, don't run yourself down, boy. Look at the bright side. Huh? Now we can't go after them hoods. The flubbing was timed perfectly. <laughs> Do. I'm going to ditch this in here, and then we can go after him on foot. You've got to be out of your skull. It's the only chance I got to save my job. Well, well, who do we have here now? Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> it's Game Warden Pike. And you're under arrest. Oh, mercy. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. <laughs> he, uh... Who's the butterball at uh, the DA? <laughs> you fellas are in real big trouble. You, you, you better watch yourself. Oh, my, my. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we are. Officer, could you direct us to the nearest gas station? I wouldn't if I could. Now, that's a fine way for an officer of the law to talk. You're supposed to be courteous and helpful. Oh, no. Well, uh, there's a gas station at Pixley. It's about ten miles that way. What did you tell him that for? Well, I am a public servant. <laughs> well, at least you guys will be paying for your gas, not doing something illegal. What do you mean? I wouldn't put it past you guys to steal the gasoline out of our motorcycle right here. Well, well, old helpful Harry. <laughs> oh, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. <laughs> No tank's full of nothing but a little... <laughs> Government gas. If you take that, you'll be fooling around with Uncle Sam. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that we'll siphon it out for you so that technically your hands will be clean. That's very good advice. Better than dear Abby. <laughs> Get the siphon hose out. But Joe, uh, fellas... You better do as they say. I know when they mean business. <laughs> I'll do it. I know when I'm late. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, that does it. I even it off as close as possible. You're a good little soldier. You're going to be a big general someday. <laughs> walkie-talkie and notify the sheriff. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, sheriff Baker, come in, please. Sheriff Baker, come in, please. This is Sheriff Baker. Uh, this game, Morton Pike. What do you want? Well, I just thought you'd like to know that I caught up with those two poachers. You did? Good boy. Where are you? Hold them for me. Oh, I'm about ten miles out on the post road, but uh, I can't hold them for you. They uh, just rode off. You let them get away? Of all the dumb, scald, idiot-headed... Sheriff's a bit testy. Lame, brain, fit, wit, simple-minded. This is wasting valuable time. Melon-headed jackasses as I ever... Sheriff, listen. Listen to what? Well, uh, they can't get very far. You can pick them up just about a half mile up the road. Well, how do you know that? Just take my word for it. Over and out. <laughs> Always wanted to over and out that sheriff. <laughs> uh, Mr. Carson, uh, thank you. Nothing to it, boy. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you fellas. Never underestimate the law. Still waters run deep. Walk softly, but carry a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, get up there. Hold him, Sheriff. Oh, Warren, you're a hero. Well, it's all in a day's work. <laughs> and I'm proud of you, too, Joe. Oh, it wasn't anything that Jay Edgar couldn't have done. Come out! It's a bear. He belongs on the mountain in the game preserve. No, Warren, you're not Orrin, you've done enough for today. Yeah, maybe I have. Besides, you 
probably run into a phone booth where I'd never be able to track them down. <laughs> Tomorrow afternoon, bring in the holiday season in classic style when TV Land's Museum of Television and Radio Showcase presents the vintage 1963 Judy Garland Christmas Special with Mel Torme, Jack Jones, and a very young Liza Minnelli. Tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on TV Land. Now stay tuned for Green Acres, next on Nick at Night's TV Land.